my personal opinion is you can never have too much stuffing, especially at Thanksgiving or Christmas. So today I'm making yet another stuffing. This one is pan-fried apple bacon stuffing. First thing we want to do is get our pan going with medium-high heat. All right, so we're going to add our bacon. This is about a half pound of chopped up bacon. You can use any kind of bacon you like. And we're going to let this bacon cook fairly well. I know it's going to be a little past acceptable floppy state, AFS, which is how I like it, but that's what's necessary for this recipe. Bacon's getting close here. This is acceptable floppy state, right about here. This is where I would stop it if this was just for me, but it's not just for me. It's gotta get a little crispier. All right, this is looking good. Let's transfer the bacon to our stuffing mix. Add our bacon in there with a little bit of the bacon grease. This is a 12 ounce box of stuffing we're using. Pre-made, you don't have to make this yourself. You could if you want to. All right, moving on to the next step. All right, we're returning our pan to medium high heat. We have maybe a tablespoon of the bacon grease left in here. If you need to add some butter, you can. First thing we're gonna add is one small onion that's been chopped up. Now I'm gonna add three trimmed stalks of celery. So they are sort of the ribs of the celery and they've been chopped up. We're gonna cook these down a little bit here. All right now I'm going to add one large Granny Smith apple that's been chopped up. I'm gonna add some seasoning to this now. If you decide you wanna use the seasoning packet from a box of stuffing, you can, or if your stuffing comes pre-seasoned, you wanna adjust how much you add. But this is a half a teaspoon of rosemary, a half a teaspoon of sage, and a half a teaspoon of thyme. And now I'm also adding one and a half teaspoons of poultry seasoning. I'm gonna mix this up. Now I'm just gonna add a shake of salt and a shake of pepper. Now we're just gonna let this cook down for a few minutes. All right, our celery, onion, and apple mixture is ready. Time to get it mixed in with everybody else. Okay, we're gonna add our vegetable and apple mixture to the stuffing and bacon now. Now I'm gonna be adding six tablespoons of melted butter. Give this a really good stir. We want everybody to be friends. All right, I'm gonna now add about two cups of chicken stock. I'm gonna mix this up. After we get this mixed up, we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes to absorb that liquid and see if we need to add any more. All right, I can feel that this still needs a little bit more. Also, my wife told me that, and I always listen to my wife. So I'm gonna add about a cup more chicken stock. Mix this in, and then we're still gonna let it sit for a few more minutes to absorb and to cool down. Because our next step is gonna be putting this into a greased loaf pan to bake. And in order to do that, we need to add an egg. So we want this to cool down a little bit. We don't wanna make scrambled eggs in this stuffing. So we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes, cool down and absorb that chicken stock. All right, our stuffing is nice and moist, and one of the reasons you want it moist like this is because we are gonna be baking this in the oven. It's gonna lose moisture. If you start out with it dry, it's gonna be really dry. And it's cooled down enough to where we can add one beaten egg to this now. This egg is gonna act as a binder. All right, time to get this into our greased loaf pan. This is just a standard loaf pan we're using. I'm pressing this down here because we actually want this to be sort of dense in here because it's gonna be baking kind of like a loaf of bread or banana bread or something. Because once this is done, we're gonna be slicing it and we're gonna be pan frying it and then topping it with some gravy. And there we go. We are ready to get this into our preheated 350 degree oven. Now I've covered the loaf pan with foil. We're gonna cook it at 350 for 35 minutes and then we're gonna uncover it 
for 10 minutes. We'll also be checking for temperature. All right, we've just gone 35 minutes here. Let's have a look at how we're doing. I want to do a quick check for temperature in the center. It's about 117 degrees in the center. And really what we're looking for is something more close to 140. It just needs to be hot. Everything in here is cooked. The egg in there is cooked by now. So it's going to go back uncovered for about 10 to 15 minutes. And we'll check it again. All right, it's been another 10 minutes. Let's see how we're doing. Nice color on that. Let me check the temperature in here again. We're at about 133 degrees. So I'm actually gonna let it go another five minutes uncovered because this top could even be a little more golden brown for me. So we're gonna get this back in. Close it up. Five more minutes. All right, it's been another five minutes. Let's see how we're doing temperature again just above 150 I don't know if you can see that on there so that is good I'm gonna take this out now and it's gonna cool for between 30 and 45 minutes before we move on to the next step so here is our cooled apple bacon stuffing loaf and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut a slice out of this that I'm gonna pan fry in some bacon grease so here we go wish me luck hopefully this holds together All right, I'm making a switch to knives here. Let's see how this goes. Let's see, I know we've got a little bit of fallout here. I'm gonna go pretty thick on this slice. There we go. Here is the slice we're gonna be working with. I'm gonna transfer this to a spatula and we're gonna get it in the pan. All right, I'm gonna heat my pan up here to medium high. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of the bacon grease that was left over from frying before. You could use butter if you wanted to, but if you have bacon grease left over, why not? I'm going to let that get nice and hot. All right, let's see how hot we are. I'm just dropping a little piece of onion that fell off the stuffing. And we are ready. I'm going to go ahead and slide our nice slab of stuffing in here. Let that crisp up fully on one side before we turn it. And this is thick enough that, you know, if you want to crisp up other sides than just the two main ones, you could go for it. This is an experiment here. We're playing with structural integrity. <laughs> All right, we're going to turn this. We're going to do it as gingerly as we possibly can. Nice crust on that side. Nice golden brown. All right, we are done. We're gonna get this out of here, plate it up, and have a look. All right, here is our piece of pan-fried apple bacon stuffing. It's a pretty hefty piece, I know that. But now we're gonna put something else on top of this, some turkey gravy, because why not? A nice drizzle of turkey gravy on our pan fried piece. That looks good enough to me, meaning it's time to taste. All right, here we go. Our pan fried apple bacon stuffing. Oh, that gravy looks good on here. Here we go. I'm going in for a second bite before I give you a wow. Wow. The bacon in this just pushes it to another level. And then pan frying it in more bacon grease? Come on. If stuffing can be considered decadent, this is it. The turkey gravy, a perfect topper for this. Do you need it? No. But if you've gone this far with bacon and frying this in bacon fat, why not go for the gravy too? You do have to manage the structural integrity of this a bit when you're frying it. So it is a little bit delicate, but let me tell you, if you're able to manage that with these few extra steps, this is an amazing way to serve stuffing. 